Hey everybody, we're going to go a little bit quicker today with the homework because hopefully we're getting a little bit better at the distributed property. Okay, number one, we are going to distribute negative three to both terms. Boom, boom. And remember, don't look at the sign yet. Three times six is 18. Three times four X is 12 X. Now do the sign. The opposite of a positive is a negative and the opposite of a positive is a negative. So there's your answer. All right, we are going to distribute the negative two to both terms. And remember, don't look at the signs. 2 times a is 2a, 2 times 5 is 10, and the opposite of a positive is a negative, and the opposite of a negative is a positive. All right, next one. We are going to distribute first, but not to this guy because it's not in the classroom, right? So 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times y is 2y. Now I'm going to go back and do my signs. I just have an opposite and an opposite, so that's negative, negative. And now I have plus 4y. So now I'm going to combine like terms, right? And what's alike? The y's. But make sure you take the signs with them, right? So it's 4 y's minus 2 y's. So that is 2 y minus 10. 2 y minus 10. Or negative 10 plus 2 y. <laughs> Number four, what are you distributing? You are distributing the negative 8, right? Some people are just going to distribute positive 8. Be careful. So 8 times 3 x is 24 x. 8 times 4 is 32. The opposite is a negative, and the opposite makes that a negative. Now it comes down 3x, right? So now I'm going to combine these like terms. What's 3x is minus 24x? That's negative 21x minus 32. You can't combine those just like up above because they're not alike. All right, some people were looked at number 5 and said, I can't do anything. Well, yes, you can. We're going to distribute the opposite sign. So the opposite of 3x is negative 3x. The opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. And we still got plus 2x. So let's combine what we can combine. What's alike? We can combine the x terms, right? They're alike because they have x's. And negative 3x minus 2x is negative x and plus 7. So I could write plus 7 or what the heck? Why don't I write it out front and then I don't have to write the plus sign? So every single one of these problems could be written backwards. All right, hopefully you did well on that. Next section, number 6. I'm going to split this into two easier problems. I'm going to do 8 times 900 plus 6, right? 8 times 900 is 7,200. And 8 times 6 is 48. So that would be 7, 2, 4, 8. Hopefully we're getting better at these. We've been doing them for a while now. So we're going to split 93 into 90 plus 3 using the distributive property and making that problem into two easier problems. 3 times 90 is 270. 3 times 3 is... 9, so you get 279. Next one, 5 times 107. Well, the two easier problems would be 5 times 100 plus 7. I don't know why I rewrote the question there, but I did. 5 times 100 is 500, and 5 times 7 is 35, so you wind up getting 535. Next one, 8 times 53. Well, that's the same thing as saying 8, plus 50, or 8 times 50 plus 3. So I'm going to distribute that 8 and get 400. I'm going to distribute the 3 or the to the 8 with sorry, distribute the 8 to the 3 and get 24. And I get 424. All right, next one. I've got ooh, this is a different question, right? So with this is where I say what does this and this have in common? It's the 9s. So pull out the 9. What do you have left? 3 minus 4. Do 3 minus 4. Don't redistribute. That'd be silly. And you get negative 9. Okay, next one. What do these two things have in common? These two parts of the expression. They both have the negative 5, right? So let's pull the negative 5 out. And what do you have left? You have 3 plus 5. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8. And negative 8, or sorry, negative 5 times 8 is negative 40. Next one. What do these two have in common? The 5, right? Let's go right down. What do these two have in common? Negative 3. So we're going to pull out the 5, and we're going to pull out the negative 3. Well, what's left? 21 minus 27. What's left down here? 86 minus 80. And now let's do it. 5 times, what's 21 minus 26? Or 27? It's negative 6. All right, I still have the negative 3 on the outside here. What's 86 minus 80? It's 6, right? So up here, I wound up getting negative 30. Down here, I wound up getting negative 18. And this guy, 
I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to say what's close to 197. I'm going to say 200. Subtract 3, right? Because those are two easy problems. 4 times 200 is 800. 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract 10 and subtract 2 more, and you wind up getting 788. And the final problem. You can do this a lot of different ways. You can do 6 times 50 minus 6. I am going to stick with the addition. So I'm going to say 40 plus 4. That'll get me to 44, right? So I wind up getting 240 plus 24, which is 264. All right. So hopefully you're getting better at this, guys. And we'll keep on working on it. And if you have any questions, message me. All right.